Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Educational Round Code Forces 148 and uh, we're gonna see the second problem that is maximum sum. So the problem generally states that you have an array from A1 to AN and uh, you have to do exactly K operations from it. So each of the K operation should actually contain only one of the following rule. So the rule states that you find two minimum elements in the array, delete it. Or you find one maximum element in the array, delete it. So you can do this k number of times. After doing k number of times, you need to uh, sum all of the remaining numbers and report what is the maximum sum that is possible. So let's understand this with the help of an example. So this is the example that they gave. So here the n value is 5 and k value is 1. These are all the elements. So what did they say? Either you take two minimum value deleted or you take one maximum value and delete it for 1k. So let's try one thing. Let's uh, try to remove two minimum values. So that is 2 and 1 I'll remove. What is the sum here? 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. After removing one operation k, two minimum values. I made sense. Now what is the other method that I can do is I can remove one maximum value and find the sum. So that is 2 plus 5 is 7. It's 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. Now for one k operation, I removed one maximum. So what is the maximum sum I got? I got 21. So as we see here, 21 is the answer in the test case. So if you follow the test case, you can find a one more beautiful example. So let's say k is 2. Let's try to do it optimally now. See, whenever uh, we have, uh, uh, see the constraints are 10 power 5. And we need to find two minimum and maximum. So there are a lot of things that you can do. That is heap is there, priority queue is there, and sets are there. So one basic thing that we can control from here is we need to do something called as a window approach, right? So what is one thing that we can think of is sorting. Because if you sort it, two minimum value, you can directly take it. And one maximum value, you can directly take it. You don't have to go again and again and find out what are the minimum values and what are the maximum values. So let's, uh, we understood that. Let's try to apply the rule here. So let's try to sort this. What will be the sorted value? That is 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 22. Now k value is 2. As we know, for one operation, either you remove 2 minimum or 1 maximum. So what is the optimal way I'll try to do? What I'll do is, I'll see 2 first for 1k. Okay, k can be, k will be 1 and k will be 2. For two operations, you can do. For one thing, I'll choose the best optimal way. What is the thing I can do? I'll see 10 plus 11. What is 10 plus 11? It's 21. Okay, maximum value is 22. What will I remove? Ideally, I'll remove this one, right? Okay, now we'll go back here. Now, K1 operation is done. Now we'll go for K second operation. 12, 13, 15, and 22. What will I do? Either you take two minimum value or one maximum value. Which one will you take? This is 25 and this is 22. I don't want this maximum. Everything, I just want the remaining ones. Now K value is exhausted. You find to remove the sum, uh, like report the sum. Now what is that? 15 plus 13 is how much? That is 28. Uh, sorry, yeah, 28. 28 plus 12 is how much? That is uh, 38, 40. 40 is the one that we got by just checking optimally, minimum, maximum like that. Now let's cross check this solution with the answer but it is 46. How did this happen? This happened very randomly. So as you see here, I just sorted the number 12, 13, 15, 22. Even though 22 is higher, see 10, 11 is there, right? Even though 22 is higher, they tried to choose 21. So they removed 22. I don't know. They removed. Now, even though 21 is higher, they did not remove this. They removed, sorry, 15, was lesser so they removed this okay in first case whatever was higher they removed in second case whatever is lower they removed randomly now you see 21 plus 12 plus 13 is what that is 46 do we have a standard here we don't have a standard so they are actually testing for all the possibilities so one thing that you can do is uh with if you have some experience what we'll try okay um you know i'll pick one minimum element from uh, from the next index to the last index, I'll just put in a recursion and I'll try for all possibilities and whatever be the maximum sum comes, uh, I'll just memoize it and uh, send it back. That's true, that should work, but the time limit actually exceeds it because it is like two power 
something combinations right two per k combination all the k values you are trying to do so it won't work in that sense k value can be much bigger we need to find some more sense what happens here if you see if you see closely you understand that these are all the numbers now what happens is let's try to uh, think of a normal solution like k equal to 3 we understood that there is no standard approach we need to find all possibilities for all possibilities we don't need to recurse we can't recurse it because time limit will be exceeded we'll check with this solution now if k equal to 3 we can have many possibilities so what will i do for first thing i'll take all the minimum elements so for first operation i'll take a to b i'll remove first two minimum elements next operation instead of cd and l i'll take the second first two minimum elements now the array will be e to l only again i'll take e to f uh, minimum elements so if you see for all k equal 3 e to f is there now at the final point what will be the sum sum will be from g to l for all three minimum now uh, instead of this right i will take instead of ef let's do one thing let's go one step for backward and let's rotate this instead of doing this we can go for the maximum instead of ef see e12 was the array i chose ef instead of that i can choose l also right i just placed the l here that is l is the maximum value now what did the array come array became e2 k so what did we choose two two minimum and one maximum still k value is three now see what is the array now the array is e to k right e to k is there e to k is the balance after doing all this let's go one step further now one step backward that is c to l if c to l was the array i imagined l as the maximum now let's try to remove c d also instead of two minimum i am putting it to one maximum now what is the uh, thing that is c to j so for this two maximum and one minimum okay now we are going again first step the first step i am putting everything as maximum what happened now so you have a to i right a to i for three maximum now you understood right we covered all the possibilities now you might have a question if cd comes there can be a chance that j can be lesser than cd right see that case won't happen see a uh, number uh, or the other number can't be less because we are already sorting it it's fully in our control so we are trying to do all the possibilities here what is one thing that we see here is we are finding the sum right that is g to l is there e to k is there c to j is there a to i is there for that we'll use something called as prefix sum very fastly what prefix sum says is if this is a this is a plus b a plus b plus c everything and this is a plus till l so if I want to get from G to L, what I'll do is I'll take the summation of A to L, which I already pre-computed here, subtract it with A to F. So the common elements here A to F uh, and A to F gets cancelled and G to L will get it. So this I can do this operation in big of one constant time I can do it. I just want to put this array once and constant time I can do it. So what did we understand? We sorted it we tried all the possible combinations that k can have how how many possibilities k can have k can have k number of loops will take no instead of maximum we just rotating it just imagine it's like a circle if minimum comes out of it i'm just pushing the other two and that minimum will go to maximum i'm just pushing the other side that minimum will again go to two maximum then minimum will be there again i'm pushing it that will go to maximum okay that's all now how do we code this for coding this we try to understand with the help of example that is given in the example test case itself okay now this is the coding part the fantasy part the fantastic part so what did we what did we first do we just pushed everything to an array so this is the same number that i told you earlier so we pushed everything to the array then we'll do sorting of course like the reasons i told you earlier so this is the number and we have sorted this to an array. So I just named it ABCDF for uh, easier understanding for the subsequent things. Now I am creating prefix sum with index as one. Why? I'll tell you. So let's bring our prefix sum uh, table to the dais and let's try to understand here. See prefix sum means what? A, A plus B, A plus B plus C. So consequently I am summing it. So here if 10 is there, uh, what I'm doing, 
pre of i right 10 plus v of i so 0 initially it will be 0 right 0 plus 10 is 10 10 plus 11 is 21 21 plus 12 is 33 33 plus 13 similarly i'll do it why did we do 1 to 6 as you told earlier here we are just trying to um, do borrowing right if i remove one here one gets added in max if i remove two here two gets added to max so that uh, you saw the motion right uh, see if here zero minimum is there if one gets here one gets subtracted here if again uh, you are incrementing one and you are decrementing one incrementing one decrementing one so that place is where you need to control the i part so that's where i did this uh, pre of i uh, n minus i 2 into k minus i so i'll tell you with the help of an example here so you understand this okay let's imagine this case okay what is the first thing that we need to do is see uh first thing that we understand is k value is 2 here so just to be clear k value is 2 so what do we do we ha have to put k value as 0 k value as 1 and k value as 2 why are we doing all this because if k value is 0 right if k value is 0 these two elements i am trying to delete it only these two elements are left in the array right two minimum i am trying to delete it if that is the case then what do i do the sum till 22 is 83 83 minus uh, sorry 83 minus 46 is 37 okay i am taking k value as 2 two minimum values will come here now pre of n minus i i means i means initially 0 then if i becomes 1 means what i am removing one minimum value that is this one i am removing one minimum value ideally speaking this will come here and this will go to the maximum element i am removing one minimum value and increment incre and putting that minimum value to the uh, other side so n minus i stands for this one okay maximum that max side and uh, if n minus i comes means i will be 5 n minus i will be 5 and 2 means k will be uh, 1 right so k will be always 2 2 into 2 minus 1 so uh, this is 2 here so we got 5 fifth element this is uh, for v index it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 for this one it is 5 so 5 comes here means it will be at this position and uh, if 2 into k minus i means it will be for index 2 that is here that means what this is the summation of these two elements and uh, it is i am removing this side and i am removing this side so i need sum of these three elements what do i do to get the sum of these three elements i have to take till phi the sum till phi and the sum till 2 i need to remove it if i do that i get 61 minus 21 that is 40 now what is the next thing that we do once everything is done i'll increment the i value i value becomes what i value becomes 2 so what happens when i value becomes 2 this one of the index here this will move to e i am removing two maximum now if i remove two maximum now these are the only numbers that are remaining if that are the only those are the only numbers remaining the pointer goes here this pointer will go to the start so now what 46 the sum till 10 to 13 is 46 minus 0 that is what 46 so that's all about it please try to uh, write it with pen and paper and find, uh, like practice this then only you will be able to understand uh, the logic here so again i'll just quickly ramp up what we did is we uh, saw a set of arrays they told either for one k operation you can do two minimum or one maximum you need to remove it and uh, there can be a lot of k values so instead of that we thought the best possible way is sorting it and from sorting it we'll uh, place those minimum values first then we'll put remove one minimum value and put that sticker to one maximum value we remove two minimum value and put to two maximum three minimum value to three maximum like that we just rotate it and we get a window on each of the set right for each of the set we'll try to find the sum and whatever be the maximum sum that is present between those two windows uh, will be the answer so as you see uh, this is the submitted solution and it's accepted so if you have any doubts please refer this solution and uh, any other things please do feel free to comment thank you